Hello, in this session we will talk about accessing SAP HANA database. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. SAP HANA is an in-memory database from SAP AG which is getting very popular. If you like to explore it further, you can get access to the database using the method that I'm providing you here. SAP is providing a trial access to the HANA database so you can go to the website http slash slash sapdevcenter.com now this website keeps on changing so if you don't see exactly what I'm seeing then that's okay but the method would be the same you scroll down and you will see various options so keep in mind that HANA is a database so you look under databases and you click on this databases option and if you're not sure then let me give you a shortcut in a bit so once you click on databases you'll see various databases from SAP company and HANA is one of their databases so click on SAP HANA and you are then going to see this page so if you are not sure then simply add HANA to the URL that you were seeing earlier so if I go back and back so I, I think I came too much back so this was a URL that you were seeing simply add HANA here and you should be able to see the portal that is dedicated for HANA now what you need to do here is scroll down and look for this option sign up for a free 30 day trial so I'm gonna click on this option you can scroll down to view the details of what you'll be getting 30-day access all the necessary software including SAP HANA Studio so this is the software that we'll be exploring in coming videos once you're ready you can click on this link get 30 days of trial access to a hosted SAP, uh, SAP HANA test and evaluation environment once you click on that link you will see another page with more details on what you're getting so keep in mind you're getting access to a virtual machine a virtual desktop rather okay uh, so you don't have to install any software on your computer you'll be given a URL link once you click on that you will be connected to a desktop that you're gonna be seeing in your browser and this desktop is from a virtual machine and you will see all the icons necessary uh, for you to explore SAP HANA including SAP HANA studio and this would be a Windows desktop this way you don't have to worry about installing anything on your computer you just have unfettered access for 30 days to explore SAP HANA including the database as well as the client software okay so you can read the details here once you're ready you can scroll all the way down and click on this link which says start your 30 day HANA trial In order to get access to SAP HANA, you need to be a member of SAP Community Network. It's okay if you're not, you can join it for free. So if you're already a member, simply sign in. And if you're not, then click on Join Today link to become a member. So if you click on Join Link button, then you will see this page. Become a member of the SAP Community Network and you can register as a SAP partner or SAP customer, SAP employee or public user. Choose the best option that is applicable to you. I'm going to select public user. You will see this form. You need to fill this in. Once you have filled out the form, click on read and accept button here. The password cannot be very simple, so make sure you enter moderately complex password. Then uh, click on this button then you will see a page listing the terms of use you should go through that to see what entails in the agreement so you can scroll down and take a look at the agreement once you're done you can click on the accept button once you accept the agreement the button label changes to accept it and now you can click on the continue button this is the page you will see next 
the page is saying that an email has been sent to you and you should look into that email to further proceed with the registration so there will be a link in the email so this is the email that I just received from SAP network registration you can scroll down and you can view the content okay so this is the link that I need to click it is valid for 14 days and this is my username you might see this message that your username is still not synchronized you need to wait a few minutes and then click again on that link that you have received in the email then this should work now I will click on this link again that I received in the email now you will see this page asking you for more information to complete the registration for SAP Community Network so fill out this form then you can read the privacy statement by clicking on this link and acknowledge that you have read the statement once you have filled out all the mandatory fields marked by this asterisk you can click on the submit button so now we are back to the same page but this time we are a registered member of SAP Community Network and now we can apply for the access to the SAP HANA database you can sign in using your username and password you can also use your email as opposed to user ID and password you need to acknowledge that you have read the privacy statement you can click on this link to read the statement and then scroll down and you need to read the terms of agreement and accept it so scroll all the way down you need to read all this and then you can check this option stating that you have read and understood the terms then click on the accept button now this is an end user license agreement for the SAP HANA sandbox system you need to read this as well and once you're done you can click on I have read and agree button next you will see a page like this where system will display your SAP community network user ID your first name last name your email address and there's a field for access code you can leave that blank and you can click on the submit button next you will see this page saying thank you for registration you can click OK on this page you should sit patiently it could take few days up to a week till you receive another email from SAP and in that email you will have all the necessary information that you need to access your SAP HANA sandbox you will receive an email something like this from SAP and in that email you will have a link to access your virtual box as well as it will have necessary information like HANA hostname, HANA system number, your user ID and password once you click on the link given in the email you will see this page where you can enter your email address and password and click on the login button to log into your virtual machine next you will see a page like this and at the top right you will see show progress icon in progress once it is completed you will see this button activated which is labeled as start using this environment so when you leave the machine idle for some time it is automatically shut down and it takes some time to restart the machine uh, from cloudshare.com so this is the company that is making these virtual boxes available and once it's up you can then click on click on this button to access the machine for example I can do it right now okay so next I see this page Windows 7 SAP in-memory developer desktop x64 description is this the state is running if I leave this idle then uh, this machine will go in the hibernate mode and here I have various options under view machine full screen and view in this window so I can click on view in this window as you can see within the browser I am looking at desktop of another machine this is actually Windows based machine as you can see I can also bring this into a full screen mode I can change the resolution from here so this is just to give you an idea on the desktop you see various icons HANA Studio is the main icon where we would be doing some videos and you have other options available as well okay so here you have access to the client software as well as the database